She is known for her successful career as a pop singer, actress, and top-charting female vocalist in the late 1950s and early 1960s. She is recognized for selling over 100 million records worldwide. Her name is Connie Francis. In the world of music, one name stands out as a true trailblazer, Connie Francis. Born Conchetta Rosa Maria Franconero, Connie Francis became an American pop singer and actress who dominated the charts in the late 1950s and early 1960s. With her incredible talent and unique voice, she quickly became a household name, selling over 100 million records worldwide. From the start, Connie's star power was undeniable. In 1960, she achieved unprecedented success, being recognized as the most successful female artist in countries like Germany, Japan, the United Kingdom, Italy, and Australia, as well as in every other country where records were purchased. Her popularity soared, and she became the first woman in history to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100, a feat she achieved with one of her 53 career hits. But Connie Francis was more than just a chart topper. She was a pioneer, breaking barriers and leaving a lasting impact on the music industry. Her unique blend of pop and rockabilly, combined with her powerful and emotional performances, set her apart from her peers. She paved the way for future female artists and inspired countless others to follow their dreams. Connie Francis's legacy is one of extraordinary achievements and timeless music. Her influence can still be felt today, as her songs continue to resonate with audiences around the world. She remains an icon of the golden era of music, leaving an indelible mark on the industry and proving that with talent, determination, and a voice that captivates, anything is possible. In the bustling neighborhood of Ironbound in Newark, New Jersey, a young boy named Connie Francis was born into a vibrant Italian-American family. His parents, George and Ida Franconero, instilled in him a love for music from an early age. As a child, Connie spent his formative years in the Crown Heights area of Brooklyn before the family eventually settled in New Jersey. Growing up in a diverse community, Connie became immersed in different cultures and languages. He quickly became fluent in Yiddish, which would later prove to be a significant influence on his musical career. This newfound linguistic ability led him to record songs in both Yiddish and Hebrew, showcasing his versatility and embracing the cultural mosaic of his surroundings. Encouraged by his father, Connie began showcasing his musical talents at talent contests and neighborhood festivities from the tender age of four. Whether it was singing or playing the accordion, he captivated audiences with his natural talent and infectious charm. These early performances set the stage for what would become a remarkable journey in the world of music. Connie's passion for music continued to blossom as he attended Newark Arts High School. It was during this time that he honed his skills and nurtured his dream of becoming a professional singer. In 1955, Connie and his family moved to Belleville, New Jersey, where he graduated as the salutatorian of his class at Belleville High School. Even in his teenage years, Connie's talent was undeniable. He regularly participated in talent shows and neighborhood festivities, showcasing his abilities under different stage names such as Conchetta Franconero and Connie Franconero. His performances caught the attention of the industry, and he even had the opportunity to appear on NBC's variety show, Startime Kids, between 1953 and 1955. It was during the rehearsals for an appearance on Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts that Connie received a life-changing piece of advice. Godfrey recommended that he change his stage name to Connie Francis for easier pronunciation. Taking this advice to heart, Connie embraced his new name and left behind the accordion, an instrument he had grown to dislike. At the same time, he started working as a singer on demonstration records, which allowed him to showcase unreleased songs to established singers and their management. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.